In this video, one will be able to understand the load frequency control, its block diagram, the operation of one of its block diagram that is speed governor. So I am Mohan B.S. working as assistant professor in department of Ripley SJPIT. The active power and frequency control is called as load frequency control. As we have seen, this is also called as your automatic generation control. So single air power system consists of a governor, turbine and a generator with a feedback loop. The problem of controlling the power output of a generator of closed area in order to maintain the scheduled frequency. All the generators work in coherence that is all speed up or down together to maintain power angle. Such an area is defined as control area. The control area is a part of a system to which common generation control is applied. The boundaries of control area will coincide with that of an individual electric city boats. To understand the load frequency control problem, let us consider a single turbine generator system supplying to an isolated load. So this is your load frequency control block diagram where we have speed governor, input being your reference frequency, turbine, generator load, output frequency is being checked, given as feedback to regulate. So let's see each one part by part. However, in this video, we'll be understanding the working principle behind speed governor and the various parts. So turbine speed governing system. So this is a block diagram or representation of speed governing system. And there are four main parts. So let us see one after another. The speed governing system is a steam turbine as shown here. So as told, there are four parts. Flyball speed governor, hydraulic amplifier, linkage mechanism this is a b c d e the linkage mechanism and then speed changer let us see the first one fly ball speed governor so this entire setup is your fly ball speed governor change of speed that is frequency is in turn frequency is sensed here as speed increases the fly ball moves outwards and point b on the linkage mechanism moves downwards as speed reduces the process is being reversed Hydraulic amplifier. So this entire thing is your hydraulic amplifier. It's comprising of a pilot valve and a main piston arrangement. Low power level pilot valve movement is converted into high power piston valve movement. This is necessary in order to open or close the steam valve against high pressure steam. So they bring upon whether whether the desire is to increase the frequency or reduce the frequency there are multiple actions we'll see them shortly so based on these actions on your linkage mechanism the high pressure oil would enter or it would pass out so based on that the main piston would act and that's how the steam is being varied so for let's see uh, we will we'll, we'll have a detailed explanation on this shortly and this is your linkage mechanism where a b and c where b is being reverted and pivoted at point B and then we have C, D and E where D is being pivoted. This link mechanism provides a movement to the control valve in pro proportion to the change in speed. It also provides a feedback from the steam valve movement. Last but not the least, speed changer. Now, so let us say the desired requirement is to increase the speed as the arrow says I have some low frequency, I have some a high load. So because of that high load, what happens? Momentarily, the speed will reduce. As momentarily the speed will reduce, I must increase it back. So that's that's how you have to understand this lower and raise. So raise and lower, that is I need to raise, that is I need to lower. So as of now, the condition is the frequency is lesser. So that's why I must increase the frequency. In turn, I must increase the NS of your prime mover. Thus, I must increase the speed is what is the demand here. Now, as we as this area we have the pressure going down and point B is being pivoted, then it's obvious that point C would go in upward movement. As point C is going in upward movement, point D is being pivoted, E generally tends to move down. As E is E would go down, as you can see, which is connected to a pivoted link and it is connected to point D, this pivot valve will move upward direction, thus the high pressure oil is being entering down. Now, as the high pressure oil would enter inside, it would, would, would enter inside this bullet valve, it would rush into this main piston because of that weight, it goes down at point T. 
Thus, the steam oval opens and you have more steam going in. And because of more steam, it's the turbine rotates at higher speed. Thus, the rise of speed and frequency is achieved by this movement. So, it provides a steady state power output setting for the turbine. Donut movement opens the upper pilot valves so that more steam is admitted to the turbine under steady state. So, downward movement opens. So this downward movement, what happens? It opens up the upper pilot valve. So this moves upwards and the E moves downwards because of the high pressure oil which is entering into this chamber. The reverse happens for the upward movement of the speed changes. Thank you for watching the video. Please do subscribe to the channel to enhance your knowledge further.